tutorial on MATLAB and um, some more areas of point processing in the image processing area of MATLAB. As before, we have set the present working directory to Z colon MATLAB and we can see here that we have some files in the Z colon MATLAB directory and we have some commands in the command history and there is nothing in my workspace at the moment. Okay, so we're going to read in these two images and I've been here before, so I'm just going to read in that one. So there's I am read. Same image, and the B is the Sorrento image. Let's just have a little look at these two images. So there is the Colosseum, and now let's have a look at Sorrento. Okay, that's grand. Now let's get the size of those two images. Um, sorry about this. So, so just to slow down here a little bit, we've created an array R1, C1, and that gets the size of A. So the number of rows is 1,200, and the number of columns is 4,800. Let's do the same for the second image. And you can see here we've created an array R2, C2, R2 the number of rows and C2 the number of columns. Okay, now we can work out the ratio between the two images. The ratio. So if I say this command ratio equals R2 over R1. So what we're saying is the number of rows in the second image, that's the smaller one, divided by the number of rows in the first image, that's the larger one, and it's 0.8. We want to make the two images the same size, so we've got to resize the bigger image to be the same size as the smaller one. How do we do that? We say C equals I am resize the larger one, A, by the scaling factor, which is a ratio. Put in the semicolon to suppress the output. Just do a who's here. And we can see that B and C are indeed the same. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to convert B to a grayscale image. Um, B gray. Or B to gray. B. Okay. And we're going to do the same for C. That's all right. Let's look at the um, histogram of B gray. Um, yep. So there we are. Oh, that's the image. Sorry, the histogram is this. Okay, that's great. Now, what we're going to do is just to, we're going to add, just for example, we're going to do some point processing. So we're going to add 30 to each pixel. So what we're going to say is that B gray, brighter, equals, oh, brighter, sorry about that, equals B underscore gray, plus 30. So but what's going on here? Every pixel in the grayscale value B gray is going to have 30 added to it. So MATLAB again as I mentioned in the previous thing makes you lazy. You can just say plus 30 in other languages you have to write your nested for next loop. Okay let's see the two histograms. And in the second placeholder, let's add the other one, or let's show the other one, the brighter one. 
let's have a little look. Now, there are the two histograms. The one on the left is the original. The one on the right is the one with 30 added to it. So all we can see is that the, the darkest pixel possible must be 30. Why? Because we've added 30 on. So if a pixel on the left hand side was zero, we added 30 to it, but then on the right hand side over here, it must become 30. Okay, all the pixels that were 255 on the left here, well, when we add 30, they still become 255. And for instance, here a pixel that was 200, well, what would happen to that? Well, 200 plus 30 would give us something like 230, as where I'm indicating with the cursor on the right hand side. Okay. That's okay. What am I going to do to A? I'm going to darken it. Uh, I have to make it a grayscale first. Sorry, I can go to I have to. So C gray. So C gray is the rescaled one. C gray darker equals C gray. And no surprise here. Say so we're going to darken it by 50. Okay, let's look at the two histograms. So that goes in there and into the other one goes, see, so grey darker. That error is just because I misnamed it. Okay, put in the semicolon. Let's uh, have a look. So let's slow down here. The original is on the left and I darkened it by 50. So what we have said is, for instance, over here on the left hand side, there's a fair bit of wise 255. All those pixels become 205. So there's a spike here, as I go slowly, and if I go over to the right hand image, I see here that on 205, we have the same things here. To go back to the original image on the left, we have a fair bit of pixels that are, say, roughly from sight there, about 10. Now 10 minus 50 is minus 40, but in MATLAB, 10 minus 50, the way the thing, there are u int 8 variables, so the lowest value is 0. And that makes sense because the darkest pixel can only be 0. Okay, we get rid of that. We now want to add the two images together. Doesn't really matter which pair we use. Um, let's see, grey darker, semicolon, and now we just want to show that. There we are, and we can see, I don't know what it looks like on YouTube, but you can see that the Sorrento image and the column image are merged together. Shut that down. Just to note that IMAD will only work when the two images are the same size. So that was the excuse to use IM resize. That concludes the fifth tutorial. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.